Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's Son channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, the seed of the enemy will no longer we no longer and uh, will not prosper anymore in your life. You that find yourself always sowing things in life. You are always planting things in life. You are always building things in life. But suddenly, instead of that thing to bring the report and bring you fruitfulness, you start seeing that it seems as if it has been polluted. There are ties, there are lack of profits, there are lack of increase, there are lack of reward, you know. That is to tell you that the ties of enemy have also been sold into that good seed. So what God is saying to you that never again will the enemy be able to sow ties into your reward. Hallelujah. The Bible says when men slept, the enemy come and sow ties. After sowing the ties, the enemy walk and went their way. They didn't even stay because they don't want... Uh, they are victim to know that they have done something. The Bible said they in went their way. After they saw that ties, after they saw that ties, they, they, they went their way. Can you understand that? So, child of God, when you are that person that is good in planning, good in planting, good in seeding, good in planning, good in building, when it is time for you to receive reward, there is nothing. You are like, I have planted this. I have labored for this. I have planned this. I have worked for this. But there is no fruit in it. It looks like a wasted labor. That is what the devil wants. For you to walk and walk and walk with no result. But hear me, child of God. The seed of the enemy will no longer prosper in your feed hallelujah in your feed because god is going to bless your feed your land will be green if you believe your land will be green and i am even praying for you even if you don't believe through the mercy of god that your land will be green because there are so many of us who are doubters people are like are you sure about this if you are doubting in your spirit I pray by the mercy of God that God will in his mercy look upon your life and remove every task that has been sold in your life that is not making you to experience fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Every child of God was ordained, ordered, commanded, directed by, the, by, by God himself to be fruitful to multiply. To increase in every side in the book of Genesis. What God does after God have created this beautiful, they have created the beautiful earth, created every beautiful thing, He now created a man. The Bible says, in his image, he created in him male and female. He now created them to have dominion over the world that he has put in place. So he now commanded them to be fruitful, to be multiplied, to have dominion over everything. So as a child of God, child of God, you are not out of place when you say, I should be fruitful. I should multiply. I should see increase. I should see reward. Because the Bible says when you sow something, you are expected to reap from what you sow. So you plant something, you are expected to have increase. Yes, because when you plant a seed of orange, when the orange plants have grown and germinated, he will not yield many fruits with so many seeds inside. It's not going to be one. A seed of watermelon will bring a lot of watermelon seed. So in your case, 
It's not when you sow a seed, you want to, you, when it is time to reap, you are looking for, for, for fruit that is nothing. That will not be your portion anymore. And I am praying for you that mercy will speak for you. Whatever that make the enemy to always come and sow ties in your life. I pray the Lord will have mercy and they be removed in the name of Jesus. And I am praying for you that the enemy will not prosper. They will not prosper over you. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.